Yeah, I'm not sure how to. I'll let you continue the debate. I'll just speak from the the Hazelwood perspective uh, to remind people, including ourselves, that this is the 30th anniversary of the establishment of Hazelwood Integrated Primary and Hazelwood Integrated College on the White Road. Road. Um, it really was an initiative born of desperation, not just from an educational perspective, but also from a, 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 a political perspective. As you know, 1985 was a particularly gloomy year, uh, even though some would say it heralded, heralded the beginning of a wholly different movement in the direction of uh, the position we find ourselves in today with the anglo Irish Agreement. But I can tell you that uh, what hasn't changed, um, I'm reluctant to say it because I'm not a Catholic, but the resistance of the Catholic Church, uh, and through it, the resistance of Catholic schools, uh, especially primary schools. Hazelwood Primary School does a very active, proactive uh, campaign, in the best sense of the word, as all secondary schools do, about this time of the year for next year's intake. Uh, I can't think of any one individual uh, maintained school in North Belfast that allows us in. Um, so there's been a, a, a sort of a, a, a died in the wool, dog in the manger approach from a certain section of the community. Uh, but that's not the theme of today's talk. The theme of today's talk or, is about shared educa education. And in a sense, that moves it away from Catholic towards Protestant, in my view, that everybody loves a winner. And so the people in Stormont seem to me to have latched onto the idea that integrated education hasn't gone away. You know, it's not going away. Um, so they're trying, you could say, maybe it's for others to say, trying to slightly jump on the hobby horse uh, <coughs> to, in a sense, capitalize, that's the right word, on the development of integrated education. Um, not least because everybody approves in principle of integrated education. I remember standing on a cold December day collecting money in city centre Belfast, and practically everybody who walked past all said, with their wee dunchers on said, Great idea, mate. It should have been done years ago. Uh, and that was very much the ethos, and that was very much the reaction. And I'm sure if you stood with a duncher uh, in, in city centre Belfast at Castle today, it would be very much the same response. Um, so, this is just to say, Hazelwood has been, Hazelwood remains. Uh, it has, in a sense, led the way. Uh, so, it's a relatively successful movement. Still less than 8% of the school population go to integrated schools. Uh, not an insignificant minority, you would say. On the other hand, uh, could do better would be the exam report. Um, whether that means that, in a sense, integrated education as a concept is being adopted and maybe even taken over by shared education, I just couldn't be sure. I wouldn't necessarily be against it. I'm not, I'm not against the idea of shared education uh, per se. But well, I think it's important to remember where the integrated movement came from, what it has established, and hope that whatever it has gained um, isn't somehow being threatened by this new movement. Thank you very much. Um, so, again, shared education and integrated education, what's the difference? Why should we be concerned? Because I think that this, that this is part of it saying we are concerned. We're concerned about uh, shared education <coughs> and what what it means and why it is, why is it is in existence. Um, we've supported the of education for a very long time because it, it, it stands with what we stand for. It, it, it has we are anti sectarian and we believe that integrated education allows for anti sectarianism that allows us to attack <coughs> attack and, and face anti sectarianism. As we spoke about this morning in the very first thing that we spoke about today about racism, homophobia, and sectarianism. It, it, it is a, a vehicle that we can use to attack it and put it in its place. Um, we, we support integrated education, not because we think it's better than the other sectors. Not that we're saying that integrated education is better than Catholic education or state education, Irish medium education, or whatever. It's not because we think that the pupils who go to it are better. It's not because we think the facilities and the schools are better. It's because we believe that the outcomes of integrated education are infinitely better for a divided community. Those outcomes make a divided community a better place. And that's the reason why we support it. 
Yet, a very powerful lobby, lobby group for grammar schools was able to set up high-tech media, use talk shows, newspapers, anything that they, they could get their hands on to create a very strong lobby to make sure that grammar schools stay. When we have rationalization plans in schools, grammar schools are immune to them. I work in a Catholic school um, in North Belfast, and whilst all the other schools get told that they had to go co ed, our two grammar schools, the two Catholic grammar schools, were allowed to stay single sex. That's how much power they have. They, they even can control the church. <laughs> Maybe it's illiterate. The, <laughs> the reality is this that, you know, the existing parties who are represented in the assembly by and large, for various reasons, are quite happy with the, the existing system of education in the various you know, Catholic schools, state schools, modern <coughs> grammar schools, and the integrated schools, because they're such a small percentage of the, of the schools, and about 8% of kids go to integrated schools. So how are we, we going to break out of that? And obviously, in the integrated movement, in the IEF and ICE, we are trying to address that question, but going to need more support than the people who are currently involved in the sort of that level of discussion in small bodies like my senior IEF. And um, so obviously we're relying <coughs> on a few things. One of which, of course, is that the existing integrated schools are actually taking the case out to the public and saying, our schools are successful, and not just because they have the desired outcome about social getting together and all. We are proud of our academic record. You know, we can't try and sell schools and say academic performances are important. It is very important, parents are quite rightly too. So we need to try and get some sort of movement together to actually articulate these arguments. Now obviously the fact of the matter is this is the assembly elections in the next six months. So it's pretty it's crucial right now. So but the other thing we're gonna do is on a more pragmatic level. We're going to see those schools who want to be involved in shared education initiatives. So they might be want to get involved for various motives, including there's going to be more money for it. And we need to get into those schools, the ones that are participating in the shared education initiative, and try and make the message that, yes, that's good. We, we mustn't let the good be the enemy of the better. But there definitely is a better alternative, which means integrated schools, which are genuinely integrated. And we need to get that message across to those sort of people who are interested in taking a step forward. To take the next two steps or three steps forward become more genuinely integrated. That's a big task. And as I've said, the trouble is most of the established parties, <coughs> for various reasons, are not that interested to do anything about it, other than to pay lip service. As a parent whose nine year old goes to a primary school as part of the CCMS maintained Catholic maintained schools. Um, we, we didn't, in the area that we were in, we didn't really have much choice in the matter. But there wasn't the, there was a local integrated school, but the, the, um, the way they had worked it was that the children had to come with, with at first preference from nurseries and then they were going to be divided up into what other uh, part of the community. So it would have left only a few places anyway, we thought we can't take the risk. So he's in, he's in a school, I am of no faith, I have no belief whatsoever, and, uh, and I've struggled with uh, the education, uh, which uh, reinforces a, a, what they call a, a Catholic ethos. Uh, I'm just briefly going to talk about this, man. So we support our son's ability to even decide whether he wants to go for the sacrament or confession, communion, uh, and altar services. And he's refused to do all those things, and I'm absolutely delighted. <laughs> <laughs> It's not to integrate education isn't just about bringing Catholics and Protestants together. It's about bringing everyone from all communities, from all walks of life. And that comes down to mixed abilities as well, not just other religions. In our primary school, we had a girl who had Down syndrome in my class. When I tell people that, I would go as far as say some people are disgusted. And they think, well, how can you be educated with somebody else in the class that has those needs? The understanding and the respect that we gained for other people as young children has gone through our whole lives, as Gemma said. I mean, it's, it's a footprint on you, and that respect and that understanding can't be gained in any other way. You can be told that, but until you're actually <coughs> working with these people, and, and that's what it comes down to at the end of the day, we're all going to have to find a job and, and be members of society. So how can we expect people to go into the workplace or deal with people who do have mixed abilities or other needs 
if they, they've never known that and they've never come across these people. So I think that it's not just about bringing Catholics and Protestants together, breaking down barriers with their own societies, it's about breaking down all barriers and about integration, being complete integration and going throughout, um, going past religion and integrating the whole society as, as a whole.